We've got lots of pools in the backyard that are flooding basements and we drove down okay. and actually walked down the street. We couldn't believe it. Everybody said, no, it's crazy. There's cars floating down the street and it's Rental just, been, yeah, it was two hours of just nothing but torrential mm -hmm. down here. Well, you know, what? we've been looking at pictures from our eye cameras of the QEW, the 407 as well. Uh, those uh, those uh, arteries flooded, but now we're on some of the residential streets and this is some of the worst flooding that I have seen uh, in, in this area in some time. I've never seen a rain so hard for so long in 10 years we've lived here in Burlington. It just kept, kept coming in buckets. Yeah, so this cleanup effort, I know that, uh, y y is your home, uh, your basement flooded? No, we're fine. We're from our neighbors across the street have some water damage. So uh, a lot of the residents uh, on your street, are they dealing with that kind no, of water damage? All types of pumps, they all have pools and they're pumping madly right as we speak. Yeah, it's going to be... Hoses, it's like the whole court's covered in hoses out, out onto the street, just everybody trying to keep right. the water flow draining from the pools out onto the street, so uh, to keep the the level of flooding down in the basement. Do you guys use this route for work? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yes I'm thinking maybe I'm not driving to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, pro probably a good idea. That's right. probably uh, not the best plan. You might be uh, stuck like no. this gentleman over here. So. Uh, as you can see, the situation is not going to be resolved for some time. Uh, we'll see if we can chat with this driver who was in the car. I'm going to wade into the water here real quickly. And, sir, can we chat with you for a quick second? We're live here on CP24. Trapped, I am proud. Yeah, how are you? Uh, good. Uh, just a, a really tough situation you've been in for the past hour or so. Yeah, it's been lots of fun. <laughs> how, how did this, uh, you tell me how this all unfolded. It was coming down pretty quick, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was pouring rain, and obviously uh, trying to get home. Um, I'm a dialysis patient, so I'm trying to get home from that, and uh, kind of get stuck in this, and uh, I mean, I'm soaked. Yeah, I can see that there's water, like, all the way, I don't know if you can see this, Cal, but your, your feet are soaked right now. How high up did the water come in the car? Over the seat. Over the seat? Yeah, over the seat. What's going through your head when this is happening? Um... Oh, I forgot it was going to be all right. I don't panic on any situation, so... Okay. That is probably a good thing, and thankfully you're out, almost out right now. Are they going to get another truck? I don't know. They haven't told me, but, uh, yeah, get me out, and then uh, I'll take it from there. And then uh, probably dry off some new clothes. <laughs> if I can get home. Yeah. If you can get home. Well, <laughs> sir, you, your, your spirits are, are great right now. Uh, sorry about the situation that you're in, but uh, best of luck. And no, I'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be okay. Okay, we'll, we'll keep a, a, an eye on your car and we'll get an update from you in just a little while. So, as you can see here, some folks walking through the water uh, right now trying to uh, get this truck, which actually went in to get another car, got stuck as well. So, this situation developing and we're going to be monitoring it here for some time, Christina.